one of the hardest things with PPC is always to figure out what's coming next. So I'm, I'm really trying to string together some videos and strategies here so that you guys can go through this process with me and I'll walk you through, you know, once you do something, set it up, get some data there, how to move on to the next step. So what I'm going to do here is, first of all, this is going to be working off a video that I actually made six months ago now um, with setting up auto up down campaigns. So I'm going to I'm going to link that in the comments. If you haven't seen it, I really, really suggest, especially because this is going to be working off of that. Um, I want you to go and watch that video now because what it does is it it shows you. I mean, it's like a 10 minute video on how you can set up single auto campaigns for hundreds of SKUs. So you do it very, very quickly, bulk, it walks through the whole bulk operations of going through that. So that's gonna be in the comments. And then this is what we do once we have that auto campaign data, setting up manuals and product targeting with bulk operations. So this is the next step after you have all of those autos up with all of that data coming in. And I'm gonna show you this on another higher converting account and just give you guys some real data here. So this is last 30 days. And you see I've got up down here. So all campaigns that I've named with up down got 33K in sales, 15% ACOS last 30 days. Now, if I type in auto up down, of that 33K, we've got about 31K from the autos, right? They're doing the bulk of the work here. But you're gonna see here, I've already got these set up manual up down i've got almost a thousand dollars in sales um they were set up about two weeks ago at a lower a slightly lower acos and we're i'm going to call out one more metric here pda up down is it's got about five 420 in sales at a slightly higher acos um really quick i call my product targeting campaigns pda that's what they used to be called in ams they were product display ads so it's just an old naming system that I use for product targeting. But one thing I'm really trying to dive in here is cost per click, okay? So I'm gonna get this to the end of the video because I'm gonna walk through a real bulk upload for you guys. If I look at auto up down last 30 days, cost per click is 20 cents, okay? 20 cents on the nose. If I look at manual up down, cost per click is slightly higher. So when I set up the campaigns, I'm I, I want, I'm looking at the cost per click for my autos to use that as a baseline for my manuals, okay? So this is the data here. Now the whole point of this, let me go back to autos. The whole point of this is in your auto campaigns, you get sales. You get sales from keywords and from ASINs, right? When, you're, when you get a sale from a competitor ASIN, it shows up in your auto campaign. What do you do with that data? So the whole point of this video is extracting those keywords and those competitor ASINs and bidding on them manually, all right? So we're gonna walk through the process here. So all you need to do is pull a search term report. And remember, when you do these, naming is so important. That's why please watch that video that I made because you wanna name them by the ASIN and then you wanna make sure that you're naming the ad group by the SKU. That's a very big point in that other video that you wanna make sure you're looking at. So, pull a search term report here. And, so I've hit some data there. Okay, so this is the real search term report. And I've hit the customer search terms and I've hit the ad group. All you wanna do on your search term report once you open it up is put a filter on here. And for your campaign name, type in auto up down and only look at those, okay? So you only wanna look at the search term data from your auto up down campaigns, right? So you're only looking at those. Now I'm making things a little easier here. What I did is I copied over all of that auto up down data into this sheet. And it, um, actually after 30 days, there were 755 search terms that we got sales for. 755 search terms. I'm gonna walk through a real example for two of them, just so I have to, um, just so I can actually walk you guys through the process. 
So all I did here, this is all real data. You, you can't see the customer search term here, but this is what it would look like in your account. As you would see, you would have ASIN, auto up down, and then the, the ad group name would be the SKU. And then you would have ASIN2, auto up down, and then your SKU here, okay? So I'm just gonna look at these. And remember, in this search term report, you're getting sales from keywords and from ASINs. It's very, very important because we need to separate those two. So moving on to the next step here, this is, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk through the process for two of them. So this is what your data would look like. You would have your campaigns here, your ad groups, all of this keyword data, right, that you've gotten sales for. And remember, what I'm doing here is I'm only pulling ones that have had one sale. So you can go crazy with it and you can, you can pull ones that have gotten clicks, you know, only one click and no sales, but I'm only looking at search terms here that have gotten one sale the past 30 days from my autos. So that's the whole point and I wanna move them into manuals, okay? Now, what we've got here, we've got keywords, right? And we've got ASINs, sorry about this. So we've got keywords and we've got ASINs. These are obviously fake ASINs that I made up, but this is the biggest golden nugget in here is how you add these with bulks. So I'm gonna get started here. And what I wanna do is I wanna make two campaigns for ASIN1. I wanna make a manual keyword targeting campaign and I wanna make an ASIN targeting campaign with this ASIN because it's gotten a sale from my auto, okay? So, very first thing, I'm gonna create a new campaign. I am gonna come here. This is just a bulk operations template. I'm gonna call this ASIN1, manual, up, down, daily budget, five, um, campaign start date, whatever the date is. Campaign end date, don't need it. Campaign targeting type is gonna be manual. Ad group, we don't do that yet. And then we come here and we do campaign status enabled. Boom. But one more thing here is bidding strategy. Now, at this point, when I'm making any new campaigns, I am always doing dynamic bidding up and down. So this exact language is dynamic bidding parentheses up and down. Okay, so I've just made the new campaign. Now I need to make the ad group. Copy the campaign down. Now, remember, when you're creating ad groups, you want to you want to do the SKU. Sorry about this. So I have ASIN one. Now I have SKU one, and from the search term report, that's already in there. So I have my campaign. I'm going to call my ad group SKU one. Max bid. This is going back to what I was talking about with the cost per click in the beginning of the video. My auto up downs cost per click is twenty cents. I'm going to start there. I'm going to start there with a max bid, and then I also have the up-down bidding. So what this will do is this, this will start to um, trump the auto campaigns that are in there because I'm taking their bid and I'm putting a multiplier on it with the up-down bidding. And then add group status, enabled. Boom, got the ad group done. Now what I need to do is just add in these keywords, right? So all you do to add in keywords is we've got the campaign name and we need the ad group name and then your keywords. So let's say these are all your keywords here. I'm gonna go here. Let me clean this up a little bit for you. So keyword or product target, this is where you put in your keywords. These are all the keywords I'm bidding on. They're all gonna have a 20 cent bid. I need to make sure that this is all down here and that they are all in this ad group, okay? I forgot one step here, guys. With, with bulks, you have to be extremely methodical and I already forgot a step. So you need to add the SKU to the ad group, okay? So create the campaign, create the ad group, and then you need to add the SKU to the ad group. So you have ad group name, and then you have SKU right here enabled. So it should be campaign, ad group, SKU, boom. Now you can add your keywords in, enabled. 
You're going to enable all these keywords. Done. You're done creating a manual campaign with search terms that you pulled from your auto report that have gotten one sale with up down bidding. Okay, easy enough. Now, this is the golden nugget. If you if you've zoned out, zone back in for this. So now we want to create a product targeting campaign for this ASIN that has gotten a sale. Okay, so I'm going to make make another new campaign. I'm going to call it ASIN one. PDA up down. We're going to copy this stuff, right? We've got the budget. We've got the start date. Um, campaign targeting type is still manual, even when you're doing product targeting. And we've got campaign status enabled. And we've got dynamic bidding up and down. Dynamic bidding up and down. All right. That campaign is created. These are the same exact steps um, for creating the ad group and the SKU. So I'm going to create the ad group with the 20 cent bid, same exact thing. I'm taking that cost per click from my autos and I'm putting it in here. Ad group status enabled. Now I've got to make my, put my SKU in here. Ad group name, SKU enabled. You need your campaign name in every single column. Done. Okay. Now, what we want to do here is we want to add this ASIN and target it manually, right? So, and I think I'm going to make actually a separate video on this so, so that this point gets across because there are so many weird steps you have to take to bid on an ASIN manually in a bulk, um, in a bulk file. So we have this, so we have our campaign. We have our ad group, and you would think that all you need to do is take this ASIN. Again, it's a fake ASIN, I know that. You think you need to take this ASIN, make sure this is extremely clean, take this ASIN and bid on it, right? No, that's, that's, it's not gonna work. There's, this is never gonna go through. You're gonna have to look it up, what to do, okay? So, First of all, um, I you need to convert these to all caps. So this is the most annoying step. So if I come back in here, okay. So like I said, is there's a really annoying step, and you'll see here I took this was the ASIN that's got, that's got the deal of the day. It's a, a toothbrush ASIN. I'm bidding on it in both lowercase and uppercase in this campaign. The lowercase one has no current data. The uppercase one gives me a suggested bid. So the most annoying thing about this, in search term reports, ASINs show up as lowercase. If you want to add those and bid on them manually in a bulk file, you have to convert them to uppercase or else um, they, will, they will go in there and then they won't get any impressions. So it is unbelievable, like these, these small things that you know, it's it just a bug in Amazon, but this is the first step. Is if you do if you don't convert these to uppercase, um, you're you're gonna not get any impression or clicks and, and wonder wonder what happened. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this in the actual campaign. Okay, so going back here to this bulk, there's also more language that you have to do here. So going back to this bulk. This exact language. Now, I'm not going to walk through. Uh, you, there's some formulas to convert these to uppercase. Okay, make sure it's uppercase. Now it's uppercase. Now this exact language. ASIN equals parentheses. ASIN. You need to put it in this cell and in this cell. Match type, targeting expression. Okay, this is going to work. This is what you need to do to bid on ASIN manually in a bulk file. Convert it to uppercase, ASIN equals parentheses, in column L and M, match type, targeting expression. I forgot another thing. I forgot to put match types on my keywords. Now, for this one, I'm doing broad match, okay? This account, and people keep asking me, why do I use this match type? Why do I use this match type? 
at this point, you guys know I can, you can do exact match type here. You can do broad, you can do phrase. For this specific account, they can get away with broad match. There is a ton of long tail keywords in this account. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling these keywords that have gotten a sale from the auto. I'm bidding on them in broad, in manual, because I wanna keep getting more impressions for these long tail keywords. So I'm going to use broad, okay? You can use broad and phrase, you can use exact, but I'm using broad for this one, 20 cent, 20 cent clicks, okay? So that's about it. I said I was gonna walk through two examples. I think one example gets the point across because this is really the biggest golden nugget in here um, that teaches you how to set up product targeting with bulks. So I really think that's it. And then what you can do is you can go through these search term report every couple of weeks. And once you've got these campaigns set up, you can continually add to them, right? So once you have all of this up, is you know next week you can come in here and you can copy this down and you can add in all the all of the new asins that have gotten sales okay so you can just continually add to it so these will be all new asins that came in have gotten sales you add them there you enable them they're going to go in the ad group they're going to start firing okay so really hope this one helps and gets the point across and kind of gets you guys thinking the next step on how to actually move forward once you've got all of this data on your auto campaigns.